Hello and welcome to Toby's Blogs. Sorry I haven't done a blog in a while, but I've been busy. Today's blog is uh, on the request of a YouTuber called 24816 Harry Williams 96 and he requested that I do a video about Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor and also Doctor Who conventions. Okay, Peter Capaldi is a new Doctor. Okay, when they were announcing the new Doctor, there was always a speculation who it was going to be, um, whether it was going to be a woman Doctor or whether it was going to be a black Doctor, whether it was going to be uh, this actor or that actor. And so, yeah, when um, Peter Capaldi's name came up as he could possibly be the Doctor, I was like, mm, not too sure, because I saw him in Torchwood, and he was okay in that, but I don't remember much about him um, in it. I meant, all I remember is he shot his family, which isn't the best thing to remember about someone. Um, but yeah, Peter, Peter Capaldi, and then when they announced, oh, the new Doctor has Peter Capaldi, I was like, I mm, wasn't too sure, but then after thinking about it, that he's more older, so they can't really do that um, mad Doctor thing they've done with Tennant and Matt Smith. And so they're going to bring it back more to a more sensible, more serious Doctor, which I really like. And they're going to um, bring it back to a more serious Doctor. And so the Doctor's going to be more classic, be a more classic Doctor. So I think that um, Peter Capaldi would be a really good Doctor, because everyone says he's a really good actor. I've certainly only seen him in Torchwood, um, but he's going to be really good. He apparently he's a really good actor, so he's going to be really good in Doctor Who. I think. They're going to bring him back to some more older Doctor, so everything's going to be more classic series, which sounds fantastic. Because a lot of people, um, class series fans, moan about Doctor Who, that it's been ruined by Stephen Moffat and stuff, which is true. But, now they're bringing it more back to classic series, and it's slowly bringing more classic elements into it, that I feel like it could become a better show, and it could be fantastic. So I'm looking forward to watching Peter Capaldi's episodes, um, Matt Smith's all right, but he is still a wacky doctor, but yeah, they're interesting. Um, and, um, yes, yeah, so yeah, Peter Capaldi, gonna be a good doctor, so I'm looking forward to watching his episodes. Um, on another note, um, the, my, uh, views on the name of the doctor, um, when I switched it on, no idea what, what I was about to watch, but I looked at it, and, I, and suddenly it's William Hartnell. I was like, oh! I was like so shocked. I was sitting in my bed just going so excited that like William Hartnell came on the screen. I was like, oh! and that was fantastic. He was in colour as well. I think they should colourise the old black and white episodes because they'd be really good in colour. But um, yeah, I think they should do that. But yeah, William Hartnell. And then all the other doctors came on. I was like, ah! Wow, this is fantastic! And then you go through the whole episode, and it's good because it's got River Song in it. I absolutely love River Song as a character, fantastic. Got Madame Vastra in it, I like Madame Vastra. And um, Jenny is the other one, lesbian. So I love those characters. Strax, not so much. But uh, I love those characters. So it was all in there, it was a really good story, and they had a great intelligence and everything. And all the doctors together, and they passed Whiz Pastor, and then had the cliffhanger at the end. I'm the doctor. John Hurt as the Doctor. Well, he's not really the Doctor, can we know that? He's a aspect of the Doctor. Um, like the Valyard, kind of the one that the Doctor rejected because he wasn't the Doctor. The one who... I think he's probably the one who said destroy Daleks, Gallifrey, everything. Um, yeah, so that um, is probably who he is. Um, yes, that was a fantastic episode. Can't wait for the next one. Um, the 50th anniversary episode. It's going to be really good. Um, for any of those who don't know, the Doctor Who prom is on Monday, and it's got classic Doctor Who music in it, so that's to be something worth watching um, as well. So, going on to conventions. Okay, I've been to quite a few conventions um, this year. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to go to Comic-Con. That was in June or July. So that was... a uh, because I didn't have much money, and I, w I wanted to go to it, but I didn't end up going to it, unfortunately. But I went to Milton Keynes, um, Collectomania, that was really good. Uh, met Nabil Shaban, Nabil Shaban. Um, met Ellie Kindrick from Being Human. Um, who else did I meet? Think, 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 think. Um, yeah, and I met all the woman, uh, Angie Mahindra from Sarah Jane Smith Adventures, um, met Bernard Cribbins, Roberta Tovey, um, probably a lot more others as well. Oh, Bonnie Langford was there as well. 
There's quite a few people, I just can't remember at the moment, but that was a fantastic convention there. And someone came up to me and said, oh, I love your videos. I was like, thanks, mate. And I wasn't too sure who it was. It's a bit bad of me. But uh, thank you, whoever that was. Um, and But I do go to the barking signings. So anyone who lives in London or around London, I live in Brighton, someone comes down from Sheffield, so wherever you are, um, come to the barking signings because they're really good and cheap. Tenth Planet. To type in 10th Planet Events into Google and they come up with the Barking signings in Barnet Barking Learning Centre. And they're like £10 an autograph for everybody, no matter who they are. And if you buy four autographs, you get five, so you get one free. That's fantastic. Or if you buy eight, you get one free. That's 80 quid's worth, but oh well. Um, I've never done that. I've only done the ones. And I've been to those for quite, for about a year probably probably about a year, I don't know, um, and they're really really good signings, they get really good guests. Um, this is just a selection of people who I met, who I've just left in my folder and I haven't moved it to anywhere else. Um, one of the signings was Jean Marsh and Simon Williams, that's them from upstairs downstairs, so it was those two, Jean Marsh from Doctor Who and also Simon Williams, who is in Doctor Who as well. The recent one had just gone past, which you can watch on YouTube, because there's a panel on there, so if you type in 10th Planet, onto Facebook and you get the video so you can watch uh, Katie Manning and people on there on the panel so you can see what it's like so that's good go and check that out I might put it down the link below as well um, so what Kate Amara fantastic Kate Amara paid the Rani met her recently uh, yeah Joe Grant and Stuart Bevan Katie Manning Katie Manning is the best person you can meet at she's absolutely the most nicest person you can meet she's jolly she's fantastic she's mad she's absolutely fantastic um katie manning's a good person to meet met the woman the uh, veruca salt from things so i've got a really mix of guests i want it now from the woman um recently you met simon fisher becker from the new series he was there and he was good uh veruca salt i want it now yes yeah, so i was good meeting her as well and the recently uh and also Paul Darrow from Blake Seven. So those are the recent people I've met at the conventions. Also, you might have noticed this, um, uh, which I've also got there. It's a. Uh, well, I met John Levine, uh, who plays Benton, and uh, Damien May, who makes these beautiful prints. Um, he also makes he makes these ones uh, called, called um, Gelder Prime. His company is Gelder Prime. Uh, and he makes those and he makes this beautiful print and it's got all his um, he's also a Cyberman, so it's got Cyberman on it and all these beautiful things and it's signed at the bottom, John Levine I think he might have still some left so if you contact him, he might have some left over and yeah, so that's conventions at Barking um, but also um, so I think that Harry uh Harry Williams came up with he says something about dimensions and I am going to dimensions this year um, in Newcastle upon Tyne um, so I'm going to the, the dimensions my first ever dimensions um, it costs so much money doesn't it it's so much money to get up there and to, for the ticket and everything but hopefully it'd be worth it um, so anyone's going to dimensions this year I'll be there with my friend so uh, I can see you there so dimensions are going to be cool we've got Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, Colin Baker, Peter Davison, Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton, Mark Strickson, um, Matthew Waterhouse, Peter Purvis, Annika Wills, Deborah Watling, amongst others. Don't know why I'm telling you this because no tickets left. So there's no point me telling you this unless you actually got a ticket. But I'm going to dimension, so that's cool. Um. Yeah, so any more um, ideas for blogs, please say, because I do really want to get back into doing blogs. Um, as long as the fans are out there who want to watch my blogs, as long as you're out there and you want to watch them, then please say you want to watch them, because I felt like no one was watching my videos, so I stopped doing them. Um, and the excitement of doing them just went, because I felt like no one was watching them. So... Um, Okay guys, so I will talk to you later. I'll make another blog if you want me to. Um, love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.